All right, so let's talk about key sales funnel metrics. Now, whenever you're running any type of sales funnel, it's important to have an understanding of where everyone is in your sales funnel and what are the metrics and numbers behind the conversions, uh, the number of individuals that move from one stage to the other, how long it's taken you to convert you know, a prospect to an actual you know, customer. And this illustration right here is a fantastic one for really kind of understanding what we're trying to accomplish and kind of the flow of the number of individuals that come in at the very top, right? And then move down uh, progressively through our sales funnel steps. And then the number gets smaller because at the very top, right? We wanna have kind of that wide net where um, it's a little bit more open to people who just kind of want to learn more and you know want to find out a little bit more about our product or service, but may not be uh, ready to buy, right? They may be at a different buyer stage in that journey. So it's really important that we understand uh, the numbers that are coming in at the top uh, and then through each individual stage here. You'll notice that uh, here at the very top, we have 2,000, right? Uh, and then as everything moves down, the line here, uh, our actual number of uh, prospects, you know, actually gets smaller. And that's the way it should be because these individuals here have all disqualified themselves and are not ready to buy. They're at different stages of the buyer's journey. And these all have actually, you know, purchased and are ready to uh, become that customer and are ready to then, you know, get upsold potentially to different products and services uh, once they've benefited from this original product that has been sold. So some of these common questions that I like to ask um, when a sales funnel has been going on for a while or even, even prior, uh, you can get this kind of ready to go so that you'll be primed and ready for, once you start collecting some data, you'll know uh, to ask these questions and look at kind of where you're at. So the first question here is how many new leads are created every single month? Where are these leads coming from, right? What sources are generating the most leads? And how many leads convert to opportunity? So how many leads are actually turning into uh, right here? So qualified opportunities to get to that next step. And what is a conversion rate from a prospect to an actual customer? So what is a conversion rate from somebody coming in here at the very top to actually becoming a paying customer. What are those numbers, right? And then how much is the average deal size? Is the average deal size, you know, 500, 1,000? Is it $40, $50? Uh, where it may be a you know, low ticket offer in the very beginning, when then after they, you know, become a paying customer here, then they're upsold higher ticket items, right? And then how long is the average sales cycle? So does it take somebody, you know, two weeks, a week, three or four days, what is that average timeline? Some people, you know, it may take months, but what is the average that we're seeing and how can we use that to our advantage, right? And then finally here we have, what is the total number of open opportunities? How many new opportunities are open out there in the marketplace? And that's typically where we have like the product demo here, uh, where people have qualified themselves, okay? And then they have moved into the product demo and you can count either one of these depending on which one you want to really look at if we just look at kind of the broad scope of open opportunities then we can just go to here where 1400 people have qualified themselves as an actual lead so just wanted to share this with you here as far as some questions you need to be asking as far as the data that you're collecting and how you can better understand your data your metrics so you can adjust and modify your sales funnel as needed all right so that's it for this section here and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.